What is up everyone? Uh, this is another quick video here. I honestly didn't even need to make a video, but for anyone who's like following this playlist and using this as your, your cliff notes or whatever you want to call it, I missed this the first time when I made the playlist, but I should have done a video on group. So this just as fundamental as like an H stack or a V stack or a Z stack, we can use a group. A group is basically the same thing as any of those stacks without changing the layout. So instead of putting things into some sort of stack, we're just grouping these objects together. And the reason we can group them together is because once they're grouped, we can then apply a modifier to every object in the group. All right, welcome back everybody. This is gonna be a super quick video. I almost didn't even need to do a video on this, but I want to just clarify how to use a group because I feel like some people probably watch this boot camp and because I have not used it in the boot camp, maybe you just don't know about it. So let's right click the navigator, create a new file, a Swift UI view. And of course we're going to call this the group boot camp. Let's get the preview working real quick and I will make this as fast as I possibly can. But we're going to start with a V stack, maybe some spacing. Let's do 50 open the brackets and let's just put a simple text hello world and I'm gonna copy and paste that three times now when we're building in Swift UI we are always constantly using V stacks H stacks Z stacks all the stacks in the world right and when we put these objects into a stack we can then apply a modifier to all of the objects inside that stack so here I could do a foreground color of maybe dot red and now it's going to apply to all of the objects in that stack. So I apply red here and it goes on all three of these. And this obviously works if we want all of these to have this foreground color. But what if I wanted to apply a modifier maybe just to these two items? Maybe I want these two items to be a different font. So if I put in a font here of headline, it's going to apply to all three of them. So if I want to maybe override the, the modifiers on these two, I could just add a font here, or maybe caption and maybe a foreground color of green. And then what if I want to apply it to this one as well? I could copy these and I could paste them. Well, this is this works, but this is not really a scalable solution because now we're copying and pasting and we're duplicating our code. You can imagine a much more difficult, larger view where we don't want to copy all of the modifiers on some view. Well, if we didn't use a group, the solution here would be we could put these in another V stack. Maybe I could put another V stack here with spacing of 50. And I could put both of these inside this V stack, inside this V stack, and this works as well. So it's a step better, but now we have the problem that we have to manage this V stack and this V stack. And ideally, these objects to really just be part of this V stack, we don't really want to add in an extra V stack here. So this obviously works, there's no problem in doing that with your code, but we can also just put these in a group. And a group is literally just grouping these items together without rendering some sort of new stack. So without using a V stack, a Z stack, we're just grouping the items as they are in their current view. So here I have one V stack and then I put these two in a group and now I can apply modifiers to the group. That's pretty much it. This definitely comes in handy when you start building more complex views, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys quick so you can get this group in your toolbox. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm Nick, this is Swiffle Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.